all you planty people welcome back to another one of my videos if you haven't seen me before my name is Jessica I'm from Green Fever SA and just before you see the tail and wonder this is Bean Pa say hi Pa hello she has the most beautiful green eyes but she's not gonna show us <laughs> Crazy Plant Guy, he is a YouTuber that I'm sure everybody knows about. Um, if you have found my video, you definitely know about him, but I'll link him below anyway. He has um, challenged or tagged quite a few planty YouTubers to talk about five of their most common house plants um, in order just to, you know, um, show people. Or remind people where the love of houseplants started and that you don't need to have the biggest and the best and the most expensive or the most rare plant in order to be part of this community and to enjoy and just love plants and share it. I haven't been tagged in it um, because I'm obviously at a really small channel at this point and so I don't think anybody really knows of me but I wanted to take part in this because to me, um, a lot of common plants are actually my favorite plants. Um, I am a little bit more of a helicopter parent. Um, I am an overwaterer. And because of that, um, I get a little bit anxious when I spend um, a little bit more money than I normally would on a plant. Um, at the moment, most of my house plants are more common house plants, and that's how I love them. The plants that I am going to be talking about are common in my area. They're ones that I see relatively uh, often enough for me to consider them common. So the first one I'm going to talk about is actually the very first plant that sort of started this all off for me. And that is why it's actually my favorite. It is the beautiful string of pearls. This is actually um, not the, well, this is the baby of the first one that I ever got. Um, I find that it actually prefers to be outdoors. So... My main one is actually living in a big pot outside um, and then I keep taking clippings of it and propagating it and bringing it indoors. The reason why this is my number one is back when I still lived at home with my parents and I didn't really have, yeah, I just wasn't um, too into houseplants. My mom, I always used to go to the garden center with my mom, but she was very big into her garden, her outdoor garden, and she never really had indoor plants at all. Um, she, still to this day she doesn't really she says they're too much work um so she prefers her outdoor plants but i had seen this beautiful guy in a pot like this and i showed my mom and she said oh no that's weird she didn't like it um and then we went home and i just kept thinking about this plant and i am a little bit more of a creative type person but i do like abstract stuff so i'm always drawn to something that's a little bit weird or a bit different so if i haven't seen it before it, it intrigues me so um, I first saw this jar, it was probably oh, about three or four years ago and I just couldn't stop thinking about it and yeah, I went back the next day or two days later and I bought myself one and there was only one left so I thought it was a sign that I was meant to go and get it and I have been loving it ever since. This is obviously like the grandchild or the child or whatever of that main plant um, but when I finally moved into my own place, I put it into a nice big pot outside and it is absolutely thriving out there. It's a really easy plant to look after outdoors. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. They're not that expensive. I have a variegated version as well, um, but I prefer the green, plain green one. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know why. I think the plain green one actually stands out more to me than the variegated one. So this is my number one house plant, um, most common house plant. The second most common house plant actually wasn't a very common house plant until a few, probably until a year ago. Um, when I first got these, they were a little bit more difficult to find. But now you find them everywhere. You literally can find them in pick and pay, checkers. This next plant is actually uh, my filler leaf fig. And I actually have three of these and they were all bought for me as gifts. Around my birthday, um, I think it was Mr. Price Home started selling them and a garden center near us started selling them. And so, yeah, I got hold of, um, I was given three because I think all of those people had heard me talk about it so often that for my birthday, they got me one. The reason why I actually love this plant so much is all the plants that I had prior to him were quite straightforward and easy to care for. And I think I took it, I didn't realize that 
you know, some plants really needed that little bit of extra attention and that little bit of extra love. All of these leaves that are here are all new. Um, if you look, if you look at the stem, he lost every single leaf and all three of the ones that I had lost every single leaf. All three are still alive um, and they all have brand new leaves. This plant really tested my knowledge. Um, it made me start watching YouTube videos, it made me start researching, it made me really start paying attention to my watering schedule, cleaning the leaves um, and all of that. Um, so this is the plant that maybe really kicked off um, you know, the hobby into like a different gear. I just found really, um, really started to make me look at plants as, you know, separate individuals and pay attention to their care needs and research and do what I needed to do in order to keep them happy and healthy. And when these started dropping leaves and people, especially because somebody had bought them for me, um, it was really disheartening and I didn't want to lose, um, plants that people had bought for me, especially. You don't want to ever lose plants, but I do feel like that little bit of a, a you know sentimental value when it's bought for you and so i absolutely love my fiddly figs now and they really are so happy and healthy where they are but it took me a really long time to get there it really really tested me my my third most favorite common house plant is very common uh, i think i've spoken about it quite a lot in my videos but i absolutely love this plant um it is my monstera deliciosa just the the standard plain green one and he's huge look at this new leaf oh, i can't even fit him into the screen this is the new leaf and this was the other leaf so he just makes me happy um he honestly asks very little and he gives a lot um he's really beautiful and he grows so quickly there's nothing better than a plant that just keeps giving especially when you are giving it that little bit of extra attention so I bought this plant as a tiny little 50 rand plant and I now have two huge plants from that so and, oh and I've even given my sister one so that one 50 rand plant has made me three. I think this is the very first plant that actually really um, started off my love for propagation and when I got this guy and he was so easy to propagate I just fell in love with him. My fourth most favorite house plant at the moment is Syngonians. Um, this is my neon robusta or you know the pink Syngonium and the reason why I love this is also for the same reason it's relatively inexpensive it really doesn't ask um, much of me as long as I you know keep it um, keep an eye on its watering schedule and give it a little bit of, of uh, indirect light and it's really really happy it keeps growing I mean he adds a beautiful pop of color into the house he was relatively inexpensive it keeps growing and any sort of Syngonium um, really does do it for me for the same reason as it's easy to propagate it grows quickly they look gorgeous um, I do have a variegated one as well and I have the normal um, the white butterfly one so all three of them uh, just are really pleasurable plant to work with um, I think anything that grows a little bit quicker um, and, you know can handle a little bit lower humidity um, you know can be ignored to some degree um, definitely makes a great house plant and then my fifth and last but not least favorite um, common house plant is the Aglionema and I can't actually remember which Aglionema this one is I'll put it on the screen somewhere here um, which what it is what I love about Aglionemas is basically what I love about all these other house plants maybe except the fiddle leaf fig is easy to propagate grows quickly um, is very tolerant of if I underwater or if I overwater to some degree um, it's is nice and bushy it grows quickly I have it in a spot where it doesn't exactly get the best light it's not dark so it's not in a low light area but it's you know it's definitely on the bottom end of medium light to low light if that makes any sense and he's just happy and he keeps growing and he adds such a beautiful pop of color into my kitchen you can keep propagating them and you can share them with family and friends and what are plants if you can't share them 
the pattern on the foliage is absolutely beautiful and there's a whole bunch of different types that you can get as well which is fantastic um, you can find one to to suit your style or your particular taste I mean there's even different colored ones um, so yeah definitely definitely one of my top five more common house plants so thank you guys for watching I really hope that this video you know um, sticks in theme with what everybody is trying to bring across at the moment and that you don't have to have a rare or expensive plant in order to to love plants to be part of the plant community to feel like you have things to post on Instagram I mean most of these plants are beautiful and um, you know on social media and that sort of stuff these plants still deserve the same amount of attention as the other ones the re another reason why I actually have so many more common house plants is because I love to use my plants as decorating pieces and unfortunately plants that need extremely high humidity and you know can't have any drafts um, need insane amounts of um, in you know bright indirect light they just don't work in as you know as a decorative piece because there are certain areas in your house that you can't keep the humidity that high and you you there's a door there's doors you have to go in and out of your house and so you bring drafts in if you are not subscribed but are still watching this video hit the subscribe button below it really helps my channel grow as well as a like or a dislike if you didn't like this type of video and um, I would love for you guys to comment below and let me know what you think if they are part of your top five and if not what plants are part of your top five common house plants i think let's share the love a little bit on these guys because they really do deserve it so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you next time